Everybody, I got a chance to uh, go on the Pierce Morgan show and debate uh, a known anti-Israel guy named Norman Finkelstein. And uh, this guy, he's a piece of work. Uh, but instead of going ad hominem, I talked about policies. I talked about Israel being strong. Uh, I talked about how to defeat the Hamas and defeat the Jihad and give our kids, our children, a better world than we inherited. And God forbid, not a worst, not a worse, not a worse world. That's right. Don't say those, those, those are hard words to put together. Worse world. We don't want a worse world. We want a better world. Uh, uh, one that's without jihadism, with a safe and big Israel, allied in this region with many good people. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Do you accept that Hamas broke international law, given that it was the governing body of uh, Gaza at the time, that when it committed the act of atrocity on, uh, with its terror attack on October the 7th, that was a breach of international law? Do you accept that? I would say there are two aspects to that question. Under international law, there is no law on preventing people living under an occupation from resisting that occupation using armed force. Under international Pierce, law, Pierce, for God's sake, it is he, he's neutral. He's on record however, stating that he was jovial at however, that day. He's, he's, he's jovial at that day. I will let you respond. Does that him finish the point? I'll come to you. All right. Let's get okay. to it. All right. However, however, in the course of its armed resistance to the illegal Israeli occupation of Gaza, it broke the laws of war to the extent that it targeted civilians, and the evidence thus far indicates that massive atrocities occurred on October 7th. However, we have to distinguish that, which was clearly a breach of international law, from the right of a people under occupation to use armed force to end the occupation. OK, let me go to Ishai Fleischer. I mean, on that point, do you agree with Norman Finkelstein's assessment of what happened there? Uh, first thing, October 7th was a horrific massacre. There's no international law that's going to back that. But we know, and you had this on your show, we know that Norman Finkelstein celebrated the murder of Jews. He's on record. You tested him. You saw that he was not telling you the whole truth. You know, he said, I, for one, will never begrudge. It warms every fiber of my soul. The scenes of Gaza smiling children as the arrogant Jewish supremacist oppressors have finally been humbled. So forget international law. He's happy that Jews were murdered. You know, that there was some soldiers that, they're, that they were murdered. Their male members were cut off and put in their mouth. And then the terrorists took out the phones and sent pictures of that to their mothers. All right, what are we talking about here? Let's get back to common sense. We have a war here against an intractable enemy that wants to destroy Israel. Even President Biden, who's not a big fan of this war, has already said that Israel has not uh, uh, done atrocities, is not committing a genocide. It's already, that's already passe. Even, even Norman Finkelstein's beloved ICJ basically did not get, uh, go into saying that Israel is doing atrocities. They kind of, uh, they kind of you know, bunted and, and, and said, you know, please be careful in the future. That's it. So now we're fighting an intractable enemy. As I said before, it's a proxy war as well. And it's, it's, it's not an occupation. Very sadly, my nation, Israel, in 2005, gave away land. We lived, I was there. I was there with Arabs. I was there with Arabs and Jews in Gaza in 2005 when my army came, the Israeli army came, and took us out of there. The Arabs there begged us, begged us. I still remember their hands through the fences like this. They said, don't leave. You don't understand who's going to take over. Now, uh, what Norman Finkelstein is going to tell you is that all day long Israel is committing atrocities. If you go to Telegram, you could see the videos of Hamas shooting civilians and women yelling, you have destroyed our lives, you have destroyed our land, you have killed our children. Hamas is a cynical organization. Its leaders are billionaires. Its whole thing is to make Israel look bad. It has no care for its own civilians. It steals the food that comes there. There's been thousands of tons of food that has come there. Okay, but they steal it. They keep it for themselves. So what are we talking about? Let's just get back to common sense. We have a terrorist organization. It's controlling a piece of land. We're fighting them, trying to minimize civilian casualties. But yeah, it is war. It is war, and we're fighting it. Yes, they're putting their children in front of our uh, munitions on purpose. And that is a very sad situation. But we cannot stop prosecuting this war. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, my uh, discussion and on Pierce Morgan with uh, Norman Finkelstein. A lot of people are like, why are you even debating this guy? But I think he's a perfect opportunity. He gave me the perfect opportunity uh, to show the light of Israel and the strength of Israel. And that's exactly what we need. We need to be strong out there. We need to project that strength as well. I wish you blessings from the land of blessings and shalom.